Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Is witchcraft real? It's in books. It's on television. It's in the movies. It's in video games. It's in music. It can be out in the open in plain sight, or it can be hidden and subtle. But in any form, witchcraft seeks to destroy you. The devil's power has been affecting mankind from the very beginning. The Bible condemns witchcraft and the penalty for that sin is death. In the Old Testament, the book of Samuel tells of how King Saul sought the witch of Endor for answers, knowing it was against God's commandment. In the New Testament, the Apostle Paul tells of his experience with the fortune teller. He commanded the devils to come out of her, and they had to obey, and she was set free. The magical arts still exist today as they did in Moses' day. False signs and wonders, fortune telling, and psychic phenomena are all works of the devil. The devil claims he has the power to do whatever God does, and he's been able to convince many that his power is the power of God. Join our Grace family as we bring you a startling series on the dangers of witchcraft. It all starts May 28th on Our Grace Family.